apparently I'm uploading again. So here we are. So I made a I made a video or a live stream on this a while ago, but something bad happened to it or something, or it got corrupted or something. And I recorded and it just had never worked out, so I don't know what happened, but yeah, I'm gonna go through the third episode of this because this is honestly, I, th I think it's one of the best alongside this one. Like all three of these, like the Dalek one's kind of meh, but all three of these are just absolutely decent. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, they actually are okay. The only bad part one, or the only bad one, is really the gunpowder plot for the simple fact that they did Rory dirty. He looks like an anime character with his eyes. I'll put that up on screen now because it honestly just it looks bonkers. Uh, I'm gonna go through this episode just because it's honestly still my favourite. I used to run it on my old laptop from like back when I, you know, it was in a different part of Scotland and uh, yeah, it was this old Dell laptop and I could barely run it. It was only running at probably like 20 FPS at the time. So, you know, it, it, it definitely didn't run very well. And you know, it's it's. Like when I first installed this again, it was quite refreshing to have it all maxed out, you know, very high, 1440p, not just 1080p. Because like when you step up from 1080p, man, you you never go back. <laughs> it's just one of those things. I'll shut up and let's get on with this, man. Oh, uh, I've already started it. Oh, I guess I didn't finish it. Okay. I'll just uh, start Act 1 again then. Hopefully it actually shows the cutscenes and stuff, because I don't want to be jumping in stuff or parts that I've already done. I think this loading screen looks actually decent. That's not true! Okay then, name one of your holidays that didn't end up in a big, mad disaster. Well, there was Brighton Beach. Actually, no, that didn't end well. Had a lovely time in Paris. No, that went a bit wrong. Still waiting. Trouble seems to follow me around. Hmm, I've noticed. And it's never your fault, of course. Well, not always. Sometimes things go wrong all by themselves. Bit like now, then! We're still in the wrong time, Vortex! Something's wrong! Really? What gave it away? Wait, what? There's a wrong time That's Vortex? It. I didn't understand that was a thing. We're still in the wrong time vortex. Well, why the hell did you stay in it so long? Ah, oh, logic. I wish I could skip this, not gonna lie. Yeah, I've probably played this over ten times at this point, considering the fact of when I first started replaying it all over and over again. It was just a simple fact that I could play on the TARDIS, you know? I like how they played with the fact there's no sound in space. Oh, I dig that. How hey, did he stay alive if he couldn't how breathe? Quick! But then again, he does be able to survive cold temperatures, so oh, I guess it makes sense. Great, we're both terrible at charades. Okay, two words. First word. Hurry up! Oh, I think Sounds I know why like I stopped playing this. It it was Doctor, the buggy heart, part words, when you have to go into the library Barbara, the first Prince, time test, and then test. activate this. Cutscene, like but guest, it was best, so buggy. There's no way rest. of actually activating it. It's just chest. when you run back and forth, it does it on its own. Second word sounds like face, hair, head, head. Sounds like head. I wish there was more bed, audio controls, death, man, because her rest, voice is so loud. Red. Press red. Okay. Which one? I was honestly about to grab my controller. <laughs> all of the red things. Okay then. I I feel telling her to press all the red things is really bullshit. Oh god, why is my mouse so sensitive? Can I change that? Ooh. Oh dear. I don't like that. <laughs> That's very sensitive. Oh dear. Let's, let, uh, you know what, just for the hell of it, it's not like it matters anymore. Oh my god, you can really tell how dated this is. Look at space. It's literally just like a few hundred feet away with that bloody PNG image. I feel like I'm playing a Roblox game. <laughs> but it's alright, honestly. If it was just a higher quality picture. Ooh, okay. I didn't like the master when he returned. I don't I didn't like it when uh, John Sims came back as the doc or the master in the Christmas episode with Capaldi. I really didn't like him. He just didn't seem right. He didn't have that menacing like Ha Doctor. You know, just I don't know, it didn't have that vibe that he originally gave. I'm gonna just walk up the stairs for the the lols. 
I never understood the blue uh, subtitles. Like, is that meant to just be like thoughts of Amy coming out of Amy, or is that just meant to be my thoughts or something? Like, I don't understand that. And God, they really did kind of mess up the set. Like, why is there just this big black abyss? I actually never noticed that or focused on it much before, not gonna lie. Ugh, yikes. I guess they forgot to put in the copper bits. I have to say, actually, though, the, the, the textures of the copper and stuff actually look really decent. Like, this looks nice. Like, it's actually got a bit of shine to it. If you're hearing some other music in the background, it's just a simple fact of me listening to some Assassin's Creed music, because it's just like... It's the best thing from the franchise at this point, because the franchise has just went to show. So I'm just casually listening to that. Boop. Honestly, the sound effects in this are actually good as well. I have to say. Okay, I think this is all the red things. Oh, there we go. Oh, very satisfying sounds indeed. Why the doors closed? God damn it! Oh, continuity. Wait, why could he only put his King earbud Kong? in? Why would I tell you to press King Kong? Never mind. I'm just glad I can breathe again. The TARDIS reset has automatically extended the airshell. Right. So here's the thing. We're caught in a riptide in the fabric of space-time. We're stuck in one of the pockets, and we don't have long until the TARDIS gets dragged to the next one. You'll have to find something you can use as a tractor beam and attach it to the console. Uh, you should find what you need in the drawing room. Hurry, before the TARDIS gets dragged away. I'll be trapped here with no way back. And how exactly am I supposed to find the drawing room? That's I've not the library, the before. drawing room, yeah. Right, very simple. Take the corridor for about half a mile, turn left, then... You know, in Minecraft, right, I actually, like, right. uh, uh, memorised the layout that he put. Like, I wrote everything down, he said, and actually did the corridor. Like, I literally mapped out the whole direction system that he did, and then basically built that, so like with the lift, left, right, all that, I did it all. I don't know why. I guess it was just at that moment where I was like, ah, oh, that's kind of cool, there's actually some mapping system for the TARDIS, so I can do that too. God, I, I hate the continuity in this show sometimes, just for the simple fact. Why, why, why is the handbrake slash time throttle, uh, time rotor throttle thing, with the time rotor speed thing. Why is it down? That means it's full throttle. God, I'm so bloody autistic, it's unreal. Uh, oh. Okay, so I'm guessing that's Amy saying that in the blue speech. I, I never knew that I had to talk to the doctor as well. That was the annoying thing when I first played this. I always kept running back. Oh, damn, the glass actually looks really good. Dang it. That'll be the time this time. Messing around with How does he casually just know? Is he just you casually watching him as she runs around like a fucking board. headless chicken? Make them all point upwards and be quick. These blue things are chronomites, four-dimensional creatures that live in the void. Mostly harmless, but blimey O'Reilly, they're itchy. Blimey O'Reilly, huh? Um. Yep. Oh, I hate this one. This one's annoying. I hate any puzzles that are like this. Because it's like... It's not random, but... I swear I got it like first try one time. Oh god, I think I've messed it up. I swear there was like an order that I did it specifically in as well, like obviously. <gasps> oh, I did it! I'm so proud of myself. I don't know how I did it. And I'll probably forget next time. Uh, right. Now I should be able to run up. How Amy remembered how to get here is actually unreal. The music tidy on this is so nice. Not like the doctor. Lots of old clutter, though. Should be easy enough to find something to use as a tractor beam. I'm pretty sure that this is what the problem was. So investigate the drawing room. Yeah. So like, I need to look at every single item in here somehow or something. It's like I had to walk over here, but walk back. Like it just. I kept running around all the time and it just never triggered the animation or the cutscene. And it's like What's that noise? Oh. Nothing good, I bet. There we go. Whoa! So it's when I Alright, I need to remember that for next time, because there's no doubt in hell I'll have 
before I come back to this. I like how she just kind of wanders off as she's just broke something. Silly bitch. How, how does that correlate to a tractor beam though? There's just a... Mm. Well, if there wasn't so much junk everywhere, that wouldn't have happened. What, what do you mean, you stupid bitch? You're just a clumsy bitch. Now, for the most part, this story's actually alright, so I'm not complaining. Even if some of the continuity is kind of dumb. Doctor, I found this laser screwdriver thingy. What do I do with it? Thingy? Right, You're not that dumb. The console nearest the door. Insert the laser screwdriver into the slot and push the button. <sighs> I don't, I don't, I don't know why that she would think this correlates to this, but okay, sure. Uh, I think it's I for inventory. Yeah, there we go. Oh god! Oh, I hate these. These are so annoying. Bloody theme every time. Got a very old for me. Now what does I need to do? Oh right, yeah, I need to point that to the door. Even though I don't think the thing really points to the door very well, but whatever. I do like the stakes of this oh, though. That's a relief. Did I mention just how itchy those things are? <laughs> Once or twice. By the way, you really need to tidy that drawing room, and I owe you a new thingy of aftershave. Aftershave? I don't have any. We're sliding on to the next pocket! Oh good, a bell, because the other alarms weren't loud enough! That's the cloister bell, it means something is very, very wrong, and I don't know how to... Fix it. I like this, because it, it's very quick, you know? Doctor? There's, al there's always something new. Where's he gone now? It keeps you in suspense, oh, because you don't know wait, what the fuck's gonna happen. anything else like to go wrong? And you can tell there's just something so very off here, because of the blue tones and stuff. It's just honestly perfect. I got an achievement. Oh, I guess I really sucked at that. The time lock's fallen out of sync. Amy's lost somewhere in time. Or maybe I'm the one who's lost. That'd be rubbish. I need to figure out whenabouts in time I am and see how much power is left. I feel I feel loose like loose, uh, they they use the power consumption of the TARDIS very loosely because like you know we learn in later episodes with Matt Smith that the TARDIS is powered by a black hole and that's a big source of energy obviously but yet somehow the TARDIS runs out of Arstron energy like what 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 does the black hole power and what does the Arstron energy do like it's it's a black hole just for like general energy. And then the Artron energies for time travel, like what? There's there's a very big uh contradiction. Make your mind up, am I here or a thousand years in the future? Here or future? Here? Future? Times out of sync or something like that. Uh right. Oh, ship. It's caught between two possibilities. I like I like that that kind of that kind of story as well. Like time, Amy's stuck in the future. I'm back here. I can fix it by setting off a reverse tachyon feedback loop from both directions at once. Hmm. Tricky, but not impossible for a clever chap like me. The parts I need should be in the drawing. I remember when I was younger, I always quoted to these to parts, time, like where it was like for a clever chap like me and all that. I was just to quote them. already. That's a new record. Well, trust me, I highly doubt it's a new record, mate. I'm pretty sure you spoke to yourself way longer than you are right now. Okay. Uh oh. Here we go. Here comes through. Bad part. That's impossible. It had a triple deadlock force field. That means the entity has escaped. If I had a triple feedback deadlock thing or whatever the hell you just said then then how the hell does Amy casually just drop it? Can it be much of a deadlock if it bloody broke? 
Uh, I'm guessing I need this stuff over here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Why is the fob watch so bloody big? Now just need something to focus and hold the time in place. Uh, it'd be this then. Yeah. Oh. Mm, do I sonic him? Oh, I do. Okay. literally sonic 90% in this bloody thing. Oh, I, I think these are actually my favourite, to be honest. Even though they're easy, it's just, it gives a lot of anxiety. Just hearing that little buzz as you get closer of the lines, and then you hear that stupid fucking sound every time you hit the line. It's just the most annoying and angering, and it's just the worst feeling. Ooh, I hate it. That thing. Oh, damn, I hate this. So annoying. <laughs> Uh, oh god, please no. <gasps> oh god, right, okay, it's on that line, so... Oh, please no, please. That happened to me a lot as well, where I just, like, got right near the edge and then I accidentally touched the side. Um, I think we're... N yeah, back to the control room. Okay. So my reading's got a bit better, but my spelling's still bad. But back then I could never read, so I never actually knew what I had to do. This should heal the time lesion. Just need a few final tweaks. Of course. More puzzles. Oh bloody hell, there's two of them now. <laughs> More anxiety, here we go. Uh oh. Uh. Oh yeah, they don't coincide with one another. No oh, god, I hate this so much, it's not real. Please, 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 okay. I hate how you do one and then you can't do the other and then it just keeps resetting you every time. That's the worst. Oh, oh my bloody door's a pain in the ass. There we go. Now, Amy needs to use this as well as me, but there's a thousand years between us. A thousand? Well, I've got to transfer enough power to her nice. time. Nice. Make sure she gets this and send her a message somehow. Is it this? Uh, what do I mean? What would you want me to do? Right, well, it's telling me something here, so I'm guessing I use this. Ooh, it's glowy green. That looks cool. Yeah, you twiddle your fingers like some magician. Oh, okay. That's got a loop. Send it to me. Okay. Oh, no? Hmm? Oh, do I need Sonic it? Let me get Watch me this. Watch this. That's not going to work. Okay, what do you want me to do? To be a nuisance. Oh. Uh. What am I meant to do? I'm so confused. Find a device to oscillate the function. Oh, the oscillator. Alright, okay, I know what I need to do. I need to get that. That bloody, uh thing from the Cyberman episode. Okay. Oh god, I hate this one too. Oh, okay. Is it this bit I need to move? Forgot. I'll just slow it down. Wait, is that speeding it up? I'm so confused. Okay, this is the one I want to do. So. I'll leave it in the middle. I don't see the point of... A recording of me. God, his face is so bloody plastic. Hello? Doctor, is that you? Oh, but it's your mother. Get off me! Oh, I hate this bit. Oh, the moans. Ugh. 
I mean, it's me. Well, a Yikes. recording of me, but that's neither here nor there. Unlike us, you are both here and there, in a sense. Oh, stop rambling! Anyway, I'm rambling. The time riptide has destabilized a force field which was trapping a sort of glowy, blobby thing called the Entity. It's not aftershave, it's a hungry life form, and it wants to eat the time energy from your past. It's bad, I get it, talk faster! There's a lesion in time, separating us by a thousand years. You're in my future, so I've set this alarm for you. You need to answer some questions to prove who you are. If someone else finds this before you, it'll stop them unlocking the code. Which doctor first wore a scarf? Oh, it's That's easy. You know, any non-classic Doctor Who fan probably sucked at this and probably had to ask their mum or dad or something. Um, vampires in Venice. Fish. Um, where is the sonic blaster made? Uh, I think it was... Yeah, because then he made the, the into a banana factory. Which Doctor had their final appearance in the 10th planet? Oh, now that's something I don't remember. The 10th planet. I think it was the first one. Oh god. Damn, okay. Which Doctor never met the Daleks on screen? Huh? How the hell is anyone meant to know that? Um... It must have been the third, because he was always earthbound. Fish. <laughs> um. There we go. Uh, ten of planet first. Right, Dalek's on screen. I'll be the eighth then, because. The eighth doctor never had jack shit to do in half of the bloody time he was the bloody doctor. Paul McGowan is honestly so good for the role. It's honestly depressing. Who forced the Ood into slavery? Humans, obviously. Why the hell would they put the master? <laughs> Come on. In human nature, human nature, uh, the doctor, the, the name did, wait, what name did, oh, uh, John Smith, CSA. How many questions are there? I honestly forgot. Who was the doctor? I do uh, family of blood. Easy peasy. What did the ninth doctor once replace? A oh, banana fact. Right. Banana grove, yeah. Uh, what story did the Weeping Angels first? Uh, blank. A. So it's only ten uh, questions. Very nice. I think I got like two wrong or something. Excellent, you're hearing me say this, though you must have answered the questions correctly. Unless you didn't, in which case you can't, and I'm talking to myself. Again. It needs to be activated at both ends of the time lesion. Just press the button, and it'll sync up with the one in my What's bossing? It's a clock. <coughs> no! No, what have you done to me? Amy! Did it! Yay! Huh. Got me. I'm still feeling a bit wobbly though. Oh. Hey, I'm getting achievements. I feel accomplished in life now. <coughs> Stop! Ooh! That well, never works. Fix now, applause later. Now, I know you understand me. Speak! The TARDIS translation circuits allow us to hear you. Then hear this. You will perish. Release Amy right now, or I'll lock you up again while you're busy finishing her off. No. You held me prisoner before. I had to. If you kept eating, there'd be nothing left. It'd get very boring. Now let her go. It's a simple but story, but it just works. On both of you. You don't need to do that. I must feed. Yeah, 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 you said. Blimey, see why I kept it locked up? I found a place you can feed safely. An all-you-can-eat buffet. Where is this place? Well, let Amy go, give her back her time, and I'll tell you. Your choice, feed forever, or keep Amy and starve in here. You have so much time. I will feast on you instead. No. 
I must lead. Stop hurting my friend now. Give her back a time or I'll never let you eat again. Yeah, you tell him. I have a good mind to just leave you in there. But I keep my word. He didn't even agree, Pro so you don't actually have to keep your word. Void creatures streaming through the time look, I'm not gonna lie, I think I said this when I was younger. They, just they look like sperm. Again, unharmed. <laughs> you can or little tadpoles. If you have a face, I don't know. When I think of now, sperm, I think of the episode with Fountain Guy, if I'm not gonna lie. This is acceptable. Release me. But he's eating the same thing, though. He didn't mention the No, completely slipped my mind. Wouldn't that just get boring hey, for him, do? though? I wonder what we should do now you're back from your walk. Amy, over to you. Have a look around. Sure. As long as I can have a go on the console. Yes, let Amy have a go on the console. She'll rip a hole in space time continue. Watch this. Watch me do the stop turn with a rip a hole in space time continue. Amy's going batshit fucking mad. Here we go. Oh, didn't mean that. It's annoying that you can't press exit and you actually have to press exit on the screen. Oh, <sighs> okay, now I'm bored. Let's just get this thing going. I literally Back did it so you, I could doctor. take off the dot there, the TARDIS, I, I mean. Well, what's that thing that just fell off then, Amy, huh? Mm-hmm, I call bullshit. Right, time to move on. Well, Try not to make it so bumpy this time, if you can. She's a bit temperamental sometimes, the TARDIS, but then again, so am I. I swear I could never okay, do this because I was only getting 20 FPS half the time. To get the TARDIS going or I'll have to start again. 60 seconds, pay attention. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I just, I, the, 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 aim, the aim plan for this is you run around and uh, until you get something. And just, yeah. Come on, come on. This animation is so annoying. It gives me anxiety. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh man, the animation takes so long. Right. Right Navigate now, I've got like 30 ground. seconds by now. All space and time throttle to adjust the speed. No shit. Let's go. I want to be slow. Huh? <sighs> that always happens. Why, why? Why is it getting pulled up? That doesn't make it faster. That slows it down. Ah. Oh. Where were we? Oh yes, sightseeing somewhere nice. And no trouble this time. <sighs> Where's the fun in that? Oh, hang on. I know, I know just the place. You'll love it. It's very quiet, peaceful, and perfectly safe. Yes, we're going to have the episode with Finding Nemo. This is actually a good episode Here as well. Here we are, London after the nope, great flood of the 23rd century. Itself for a minute. Hey, Nemo, you grew up. God damn, boy, <laughs> you big. <laughs> Such a short story, but it actually works. Wait, what? Hold on. The, n the person that voiced the entity was a woman? Huh? I swear that said Sarah. What the hell? Well, damn, they really did her voice dirty. She sounds like a man. <laughs> yeah, boy. You better give me that achievement. Alright, well, I'm not gonna have a big long speech about me leaving and having a like and you can subscribe and whatnot, so I'll just end it there. <laughs> I'll let you see the TARDIS thing, because I, I, this is the thing I liked about this game, it was so satisfying. You press clip and they actually pop in a TARDIS like they're gonna go somewhere, it's just kinda dope. I kinda like this. Alright, catch you in the next one. Hopefully, this was somewhat nostalgic for you.